Wolves 1, Man City 2. We're going to do a more in-depth uh, breakdown of this game with Keenan during Football Focus Weekly. So I'm not going to touch too much into it. Also, I need to watch the game again just to see, catch on a few things. But uh, for starters, I told you guys, I told you guys the prediction that Strandlassen is someone to watch out for. It was good to see him score. It's good to it's good to to see something from afar and then... Because I've, I've watched a lot of Wolves games. I won't, I won't even lie. Against Chelsea, against Villa, against... Like, I've watched a lot of their games. And Strandlassen, to me, has... His, his, he, the way he runs into channels, especially on the break, really is impressive for a big man. So, um, to be honest, I just, I just thought he'd be... If they're going to be running through those channels, it's going to be through him. So, that's why I really was big on him getting a goal. But, yeah, Stones strikes again at the death... Um, as an Arsenal fan, I was so disappointed when they scored. Then I was happy again when they called VR and then they um, didn't, and then they, yeah, they just said it was a goal. So, yeah, I, in my opinion, it's a goal. In my opinion, it's a goal. But I just want to, I'm just making this video actually to defend Gary O'Neill because there's going to be a bit of slander here of how he reacted after the goal, whatever. Okay, eventually he calmed himself down, but um, this is just information that I got actually um, in the last few minutes. The fact that last year when they were playing, I think Burnley, they had the same, they were in the same situation where a player, uh, no, a Wolves player went and stood next to the goalkeeper and then there was a header. Um, he didn't touch the ball, but because of the proximity to the goalkeeper, they, they this is this is now the, the official communication from the Premier League Referees Association after the game. He was told after the game that due to the proximity to the goalkeeper, that's why the goal was cancelled. And it was just last year. So this year, this goal is allowed thanks to proximity to the goalkeeper. So that was his argument. It's like, listen, you guys, the last time when I complained and you almost suspended me and gave me yellow cards, whatever, it was because of this. And this was the what you told me. But in this new, in this game, the same thing happens. And it's like I can't complain, right? So obviously I get where he's coming from because that is the exact explanation he was given. The goal was disallowed because of proximity to the goalkeeper, not necessarily interfering with the goalkeeper. That was the goal last year, um, as you can see in this screenshot. But the big difference is, I think, with this goal is that um, I can't believe I'm about to defend Man City. Bernardo Silva it, like, in, uh, kind of interacts with the goalie, <laughs> not really interferes, interacts with the goalie as the ball comes in, at that point, he's not offside. Then he lets him go and goes down. So the keeper ha actually has a very visible, clear line of sight, again, as you can see, clear line of sight. And um, yeah, that is where the goal was allowed. But if you if, if, if you just went by the explanation they give they gave in the previous game compared to this one, you can see why he was not happy. So anyway, all in all, um, big, 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 big result for Wolves, especially um, now that Liverpool won. And there's going to be a big game next week, Liverpool versus Arsenal. So there's a chance, Man City, there's a chance that they will be outright leaders in the next two weeks. So, yeah, there's not really much to say about this game. Wolves were just defending super heavy. But um, Man City just, oh, Guardiol. Guardiol is a beast. He's an animal. Anyway, we'll talk more about the game during Football con football Focus Weekly with Keenan. And, yeah, this is just a short thing. Just wanted to defend Gary O'Neill and set the record straight. And, yeah, hopefully he doesn't get fired. Eddie Howe, I'm looking at you.